Hey there, I am uh, glad to be back and today I want to talk about how you can set up combined articulations in Dorico. So this is um, where you, for example, have um, a, a string part, and in my example here I've got a viola playing a, a simple line, and you wanted to say, mark in your, in your uh, score that a certain range is vibrato. It's already, say, natural or sustain or legato, but you want to add vibrato onto that so that um, both will happen and your sampled instrument will get the correct message that, uh, that both apply. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to show you, um, I'm actually walk you through some of the frustration that you might go through just so you understand a little bit better about how Dorico is working with this. So let me take myself off the camera here and just take a look at um, our little example here, okay? So it's a very simple line. I'm going to take my vibrato off there and just play it through so you can hear it. So it's just a very simple line. Now I'm going to use this example where I'm going to take uh, this item right here, this note. Now I've got actually, uh, you can tell I have staccato enabled on that. I'm going to take that off. And I want to talk a little bit about this um, lower zone down here. So you can open or close it with this little button down here. Right. And one of the things that I really uh, find myself referencing all the time in this is what's going on with this playing techniques bar down here. This is really a nice diagnostic tool if you want to figure out what the heck's going on with your articulations. So you can see that by default, all of these notes are natural. And we can find out what that really means, and you, you'll understand even more about this as we continue. When you hover over, you get this little sort of tooltip, large tooltip, tells you what the bass switch is, active techniques, what expression map it's in, uh, what channel it's on, all that. So it, it gives you quite a lot of information. And the fact that this natural uh, playing technique bar is you know, continu con contiguous, over here, you can see that this very last note switches to legato, and that's because I have a slur there, right? So if I take that slur off, you'll notice that this legato disappears. Let's go ahead and delete that. And uh, now it's all natural, right? So the fact that I added a slur there made those two notes here into legato patches. And that's typical. If that's what a string player would interpret that to mean, that um, those are intended to be legato notes. While natural would be the default, at least as far as Dorico is concerned. I don't think a, a string player or viola player is really thinking about uh, natural versus legato. Natural and sustain are probably very, very much the same from a, a viola player's technique. So let's take a look at the instrument and see what's happening here. So um, I'm going to go back to my original example, which is I want to add vibrato to this note right here, to this. Um, and I've got the note selected here, but we see that it's still just playing a natural switch. There's no vibrato. And I can see over here on my instrument, let's go back to the beginning. So I actually did an experiment earlier, which... Uh, to prepare for this in which I set vibrato. So now I actually, this is kind of one of those interesting things. You can see that vibrato is actually enabled in my sign player. And uh, I, I, even though vibrato isn't here and that's because it got set and hasn't been unset. So um, I am gonna go ahead and I'm going to hit shift P. That's gonna open up this little techniques, playing techniques um, popover. And I'm gonna say senza vibrato. And now when I play, it's going to change this over here back again. So, well, actually it doesn't, and I'll explain why. So let's check this out. So whether I have sends of vibrato here, or I have a slur over here, or I have even, you know, staccato here, we need to talk about expression maps if we want to understand, well, how does this all work? So for that, I'm going to go to my play tab. And I just love this feature, which I think is new in um, in Dorico 5, this quick button to ex edit the expression map for that instrument. So you can just select the instrument 
I'm using the viola here. I'm going to pop that up. It's just so convenient. Okay, so let's check this out. So natural, this is the default. Um, and staccato. Staccato is just a different key switch from natural, right? So if we look up here, we see that C sharp zero is sustains. That's the natural. Staccato, it switches to a key switch D is zero, which is right here. Staccato makes perfect sense. Now, if you want to add vibrato, I'll go ahead and delete this just to show you how it, how it works. You, want, you, you don't actually want to create a new bass uh, articulation. You don't want to do a bass articulation, which is what this plus here or duplicate technique will duplicate whatever you select. You want to use this add technique add-on switch. This way, it's basically going to add the articulation setting to whatever is already playing. In other words, you don't need to create a natural plus vibrato as a bass. Instead, leave natural as it is and add an add-on for vibrato. So I'm going to go ahead, type in vibrato. I'm going to hit OK. And now I get that here. Now in my instrument, what does that mean? It, it's not actually a key switch. I don't have a key switch for vibrato. Instead, um, under, and there's no vibrato for staccato, so I need to switch to sustains. So I can see here that CC4 in the sign player, in this instrument, is set to vibrato. So I'm going to go ahead down here. For this add-on switch, I'm going to hit CC, not a key switch. If I was setting up regular key switches, I'd hit a key switch, but instead I'm going to hit CC. Come up here, change it to 4, because that's what sign player wants to hear. And I'm going to hit make this 127, right? So full value. I'm also going to go ahead and create a Senza. Uh, I guess maybe that is not in here. So what I can do instead there is I may need to set a base. Let's see. Nope, don't have that either. So I'm not sure exactly how to, how to set Senza in this particular instrument, but I do want to get onto how these add-ons work because turning it off uh, turning off vibrato here isn't really the goal of my lesson as much as to make sure it's clear how to turn it on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to turn vibrato off manually in my instrument in order for this example. So this example you know, can be done in a reasonable amount of time. So I've got this add-on for vibrato. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, you'll notice that when I play this note, I'm just going to... Um, play this note and you can see it selected down here. You can see that from the playing technique bar that we're still just using the natural technique even when I play it. And it's really helpful to see that, well, no new playing technique was established here, but if I go ahead and I add vibrato to that, so I'm gonna hit Shift P for playing techniques. I'm gonna turn on vibrato. What you're gonna see is down here, a new playing technique takes place and that's still natural that's the base switch but now we can see that there's an add-on I'm trying to zoom in here a little bit so you can see technique add-on vibrato active techniques vibrato and what you'll see over here is that when I hit play this over here is going to switch to vibrato so this particular patch doesn't have a very intense vibrato but it is turned on and that's because in sign player, it's listening for CC4 to govern the control over um, the vibrato. And so I put the vibrato playing technique on that note. I, I had set up my add-on technique in uh, the expression map, and that's how it works. So let's understand a little bit more about how does it get to be natural everywhere else. Well, natural is the default for anything that doesn't have a playing technique already on it. And over here, how come this changes to legato, these two notes, just because there's a slur? Well, let's take a look at our playing tech, or sorry, our expression map here, and understand a little bit better what's happening. So, legato right here is going to switch to C0 right there. Now, it's generally the case that um, if you use a slur, there's just going to be a default 
to choosing a legato patch if or or rather a legato base switch if there's one in the expression map if i took away legato then it may not do that uh certainly not reliably but that's sort of because that's so common it's kind of built in but whatever key switch i wanted it to go to would be governed here in my expression map under legato all right, so I hope that that makes uh, plenty of sense. I hope that that explains everything about how you could combine articulations if you wanted to. Um, there is an option which I actually let me cover very quickly. Um, if you, in some cases, uh, it's important to understand about mutual exclusion groups. Um, down here, you see I scrolled down. Oop, that was a little too close. This mutual exclusion groups. In Doric 05, these are created, uh, oh, geez, it's really, um, really responsive, and I'm sorry for that. But it's created these mutual exclusion groups, and these are sometimes a bit confusing. Right, so um, it's created, Doric 05 has created these mutual exclusion groups automatically. I didn't actually do this for vibrato, and what it's saying is that any of these techniques um they don't overwrite each other right so legato or or uh, sorry mutual exclusion groups it means they you can't have two of these so you can't have non vibrato and vibrato at the same time right you could have natural and vibrato but you can't have um the both and you can't have legato and non legato you can't have those at the same time so that's what exclusion groups are but sometimes if you create an add on or you create a combo base switch like this uh, legato and tenuto here, which is just as simple as you create plus, and you can actually hold command and you can select, you know, I can say, okay, uh, muffled and mouth slightly open. Well, I couldn't do mouth slightly open, mouth slightly closed, but, you know, and marcato. Then I could create that and say what key switch or um, CC values or whatever. Uh, that That's another way to create a combination base switch, which is what's going on with this legato and tenuto. Anyway. I don't want to get too crazy. I could go and talk about this forever. If you have questions, please put them in the comments. Please like and subscribe. It really helps my videos surface in YouTube and helps me grow my channel. And if you have questions, put it in the comments. Thanks so much, and I will see you again another time. All right, bye for now.